One more time, we welcome to On Fire for Christ, where we talk about the things that are going on in our Ghanaian Christian circles in Africa and the world beyond. And in this video, there's a video of Apostle Aromi Osai circulating all over social media um, about um, walking off the pulpit because of two people's ringtones sounding when he began preaching. Let's take a look at the video. Um, you will need to bear with me. I have a limitation, and the limitation I have is that your ringtone will cut the flow of my anointing, will cut it off. So if we have that, that kind of uh, unexpected display for the second time, I would, I would take my seat in the congregation. Spiritual things survive on a protocol. And that's why not everybody is spiritual. There is a regiment, there is a discipline that provides an atmosphere for spiritual things to rest. Now, like I said, my time today is not God's will for me to preach today. We will turn over the mic to the people that prefer the phone to my voice. Maybe tomorrow we can continue. May the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. And so this is a video that has generated a lot of talking points across um, the social media platforms you see on Facebook and you see on X and on WhatsApp platforms, people are discussing this thing. And the main thing that people are discussing is people are asking that, is this just pride or it is discipline that is necessary in the church? You will bear witness with me that um, there are many people who, when they come to church, you don't take... Um, something seriously there have been some people who even in the midst of church service will receive a phone call and walk out and go and do what they want to do it's as if they don't honor um the word of god that is coming it's as if the word of god that is coming is not very very precious to them and so it is necessary that a certain level of discipline be meted out to these people for the church to understand that i mean these things are vital we are in a holy place we are in the presence of god and because of that whatever virtue whatever respect and value we have to give to him we have to give to him but it is also necessary that we understand how we do these things and that's why it is a very delicate situation um and so the conversation is going around social media is that and i read from um, one brother who is called mark aguara and he says that unnecessary pride or a necessary discipline it says that the audience also matters too. Leaders in training or general church people, in his words, maybe it's not God's will to bless you today. Talking about Apostle Aromi, it says that will God design to bless his people and suddenly withhold that blessing that day because of a ringtone? Later addiction, it says that why could the church, what could the church have meant by anointing being cut off by a phone ringtone? Any scriptural warrant for that? It says that distracted, probably anointing being cut off. What is your educated take on this matter? And I mean, there are so many things that we can discuss from all the things that our brother has said here. You get to see that the, 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 can God send you to go and give information to people? And we see all this through the scriptures. God sending Moses, God sending, I mean, Ezekiel, God sending Jeremiah, God sending all these major, major prophets and these minor prophets, or all the prophets in the scriptures. And would you say that because you don't agree with something that somebody does, so does it mean that the message that God is giving you are not going to give it? Does it mean that anybody who came there to be saved by God that day wouldn't be saved because of the ringtone? When I watched the video, I didn't really see anybody receiving the call. The phone rang, but nobody received the call. And so you might, it, it, and it happens, it can happen to everybody. That you'll be in the church, you forgot to put off your ringtone and the phone rings. What you do is that you quickly, silently put it off and you continue with the service. And so there's an aspect of this where you can want to question why an apostle or Romeo side will want to withhold the word of God that God had designed for his people that day because of a ringtone. You understand? And we quickly go on and we check other comments that people make. And people have said that he just wanted to say it's interrupted with his flow. This can be true, especially if one operates in the spirit and is manifest manifesting particular gifts. It says that Catherine Kuhlman was this petty as well. 
And so for her, even defending Apostle Aromeo Sai said this was petty. That was this petty as well. I think for this, we can understand what he was trying to say. There is a flow that gets interrupted. Just like you are deep in prayer, then you hear people shouting your name. This one, dear, I understand, saying that he agrees with the man of God and what he did. And there's a rebuttal to this when somebody comes back to say that, nope, this is some, this something breaks the flow of anointing. It's some traditional da-da-da-da-da that has been carried from generation to generation unchallenged. God will do what he wants to do, and a simple ringtone cannot scare the anointing away. I have preached through rings for decades, and I am sure he's trying to say ringtones. I have preached through ringtones for decades. It sometimes acts the flesh, but we should never walk away because of two ringtones. I will comment later. And this is somebody also bringing his mind, and I have a certain... Um, 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 I lean towards this side a bit because I feel like there are so many distractions that are going to come our way, especially if we are men of God. And I'm not in any way saying that I'm more experienced than Apostle Aromeo Sai. And I'm sure that he was trying to imprint something in the church. He was trying to bring something. But I feel like um, when we want to say spiritual, spiritual, this is not spiritual. That you, you leave off God's people to starve off the word because of ringtones. And I've seen other videos where other men of God have tried to handle this situation a bit better, in my view, than this. Because you look at the way that video I saw, the man, first of all, came and he told them that um, there are three things I want you to do for me. If you can do them for me, I'll be very happy. First, he says that if you can't put your phone off, if you can't put your phone off, please put it on silent. And if you can't do this too, please, then you can leave. And this is another nice way that you can do this. Somebody else also comments and says that, not when you have just started preaching, Me meaning that you can't just walk off when you have just started preaching. You could have chosen not to come before, but when you have gotten there, you have to preach the word. And so these are things that many people are saying on social media. Many people are putting their views across. I want to know what you also, my question for you is that, do you think that um, Apostle Alromi was prideful in this instance, in this place? Because they have in other instances where people have called him very proud and, and you can have your say, but I want you to also tell me in the comment section, do you think he was proud in this instance, or do you think that it was a necessary discipline that had to be meted out to the church? I'll see you on the next one. I'll take care of yourself, and bye-bye.